Would you rather be alone in the woods with a man or a bear? I'm going with the bear. Yeah. Yes, the bear will not sh me. This is so dumb. There's she only one in 2.1 million chances of being attacked by a bear. Not what? if you're in, in the woods near a bear. When it comes down to it, it logic goes out the window. When emotion is more important than emotion anything else. Is more important. I'm going to pick a survivalist. He's hot. Then I have forest <laughs> sex and I have fricassee fish. This is why, this is why we... It's exhausting. It's exhausting. I'm exhausted watching this. This point, Dante, I'd rather be with the bear. <laughs> I, I'd rather be with the bear than have to listen. I'm not an alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man. Apparently, there is a question going viral on TikTok right now that asks, would you rather be alone in the woods with a man or a bear? And a considerable number of women said they'd rather take their chances with the bear. <laughs> I'm going with the bear also you because, yeah. yes, the bear will not shoot me. <laughs> He's not going to go. No, just yeah. fight. Just no, peel your cap that. back. No, no, yeah. no. And, and eat Grizzlies. your brain. This is so dumb. Whoopi is this supposed is to be so... like the smart one. And she, and that, she yes. is the smart one. It Logic goes out the window. when Emotion is more important than Emotion anything Emotion is more important. She's been wronged by men, which I'm sure she has. I'm not saying mm. she hasn't. I'm not saying men are fucking I'm sure so she's wrong in men as well. So, sure. I mean, it's just but, not a... Well, you're, wrong. you're certainly wrong in them if this is the argument style. God yeah. damn. But if you've been standing there long enough to see the grizzly coming, you the dummy. You're, you're absolutely right. What, this what this be might be the dumbest the stats, almost in one, There's only one in 2.1 million chances of being attacked by a bear. You know? But there's a yeah. Not if you're standing next to it, you <laughs> dumb twat. Not if you're in, in the woods near a bear. Yes, right. because bears are in, like, the where is, why is that a conversation? If you're in, if you're around, okay. You the premise, a... the whole premise of the stupid thing is who would you rather be in the woods with, a man or a bear? Yeah. Period. Who would you rather be next to? Do you feel safer with a man or a bear? It's not, uh, is there a bear within the vicinity? I don't know, whatever. I don't, I'm making too much logic. Yeah, you keep, you'll keep playing it. You'll see. This, you'll, you'll you're see. saying it's going to get dumber? Oh, it gets dumber. Yes, it oh, does. It God. does get dumber. When you chose the bear <laughs> in the woods and yeah. hanging well, out. Well, by the way, like, men. Ages 18 to 25 are 167 times more likely to kill someone than a bear. Oh, I take the man. That's dark. I take the man <laughs> because. Yeah, but what about salmon? Now, if you're talking salmon, then it's a bear. <laughs> how many? How many salmon? Did he get? Yeah, this is it's like a salmon holocaust out there. <laughs> if we're just gonna start changing the the stat, you dumb. Yeah, it's, yeah. How many living bears uh, murder their spouse? Here's the thing. It's if you had, low. here's the way that statistic is is logic. The the syllogism of that works. If we take the same amount of men that you've been around, and how many times you've been assaulted. Compared and you and you put a woman around the same amount of bears that you've been around men. Like for instance, you get on the A train, right? And it's full of bears, right? It's mm. standing room only. There's no seats. I mean, sure, there's um one of the bears will get up and give you their seat, but then all the rest of them will eat you. <laughs> That's right. the difference. It's like, what are you now? What about like? this? How about a couple of bears come in there with a boombox and they go, "Hey, it's showtime!" And then they start break dancing. Do those bears eat you after after showtime? It done. only depends on how much money you give them. If you give them a good tip, you probably can get out and get what you about, rubbing your face. What about a bear? What if a bear comes in? Let me see a man do this. Oh gosh. Oh yeah, uh. yeah. <laughs> You are, this is, or this one here. I'll do this one, this one where you just go. You're in the boardroom, right? It's you and 12 bears, yeah. right? You got your whiteboard yeah. up, right? Do you rather be with men who think you got a dumb idea on that whiteboard? Or do you want to be with 12 bears dressed in pinstripe suits? Right. What are you going to go with? What are you, okay. Harry, what are you, what are you going with? I mean, Jesus, so hard. Uh, what a choice! What a choice! I mean, now you're you're filling me with different uh, different scenarios. You're getting out of your stupid yoga class that doesn't do anything because you no, you're you in your yoga yoga class. You're, you're in your yoga sure. class. There's the majority of them are women. Yeah, there's four bears in there's there. There's Four bears. <laughs> and one you, of them. One of them is gay. One right, of one of them's gay. gay, fair enough. The and other one three them, are divorced and trying to get back into dad bod shape, dad bear but one, shape. But one got there early and took your mo your mat space. 
So what do you do now? Mm. Do you talk to him and ask him, Kenny, this is usually the space that I do my dumb yoga at, or do you just do you pick another place, huh? I mean, just this is why this is why flat out you just we don't listen to women. <laughs> This show, the view, is just the reason that that men don't listen. They don't, and I've never been one of those guys. Now I'm one of those guys. After this no, show, wait, I go, let's just play stop another clip. General. Play another clip. It gets another worse. Clip. It's only three minutes. So oh, it's only three minutes. Good yeah. lord! If you love what we're doing here, go to Patreon.com. It's the best way to support us and check out all the bonus content. That's right. Patreon.com slash Manschool202. We do weekly bonus episodes. We do listener mail, dating tips, and also, if you love the show, you can go back to the archive starting from episode one. All the episodes will be there at Patreon.com slash Manschool202. A man can act like an animal. The bear is a wild animal. I would much yeah. rather uh, take my chances with Yeah, no, so he's I'm, not pulling a gun and forcing me to lay down. I'm with Whoopi on this one because nobody's forcing you to lay down, Whoopi. With Whoopi. Nobody. <laughs> not the bear, not the gorilla, nobody. So oh you don't have to worry about that. Oh All boy. summer in New Hampshire, Bears like when Pisaki, why I don't we go see bears. Woods. You That's okay? True. If we're talking black bear, I choose bear. If we're talking grizzly, oh, now we're getting into race. Now I don't yeah. like this. <laughs> now we're breaking it down statistically. She's the Republican. More comfortable. Yeah. Well, listen. If it's Those a black, black bears, bear, if, mm. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> If it's a, if I'm at my local Whole Foods and there's several ba- black bears that walk in, I'm walking right hey, out. Listen, I'm walking. They got right their out. Timberlands on, and they. <laughs> if I go, if I walk by a convenience store and there's a black bear buying a Lucy, I'm out. I'm out. There's a, there's a black bear wearing a Fubu sweatsuit. You know he's old. Four bears buy. Four bears. <laughs> <laughs> It's just stupid if a bear is wearing Air Force no. Ones. You, all right, anyway, I'm sorry. We keep it. Wait, no, it gets this small one. It gets, it gets better. <laughs> oh my God! This we're only halfway through this clip. I'd probably. Also, they don't say who the man is. Is this a criminal, a stranger, the ominousness well, of like there's an average a man. man? I, I so think you probably can, not. It's a an well, I don't think you can pick a man. Right. If you I'm going to pick a survivalist. Remember, we had that guy. You don't get to pick the, the man. That guy. I'm picking him because he survived a shark attack. He's hot. <laughs> um, he can. He can. Now, now it goes into they can't even stick to their own stupid, like <laughs> philosophical <laughs> argument. Now it becomes what I would like it to be. It always <laughs> ends up being what I would like it to be. It, step one is what. However, I have to win the argument. Step two is, well, this is what I would like it to be. No, the thing is, it's either a fucking bear or a random guy, and you're like, yeah. well, what if, what if it was uh, John F. Kennedy in his prime, and he has a flamethrower? Yeah. Just... But yeah. men talk about stupid stuff like sports. By the yeah. way, they talk about sports. Keep going, keep going. It's almost done. This is, it keeps getting stupider. Yeah. At this point, at this point, Dante, I'd rather be with the bear. <laughs> I, I'd rather be with the bear. Let me ask you this: Say they get caught with a bear that's attacking them. Okay. Who do they call? Another bear or a man <laughs> or a man. Oh, God, that's so that's so you know what I would want it to be. I would want it to be Idris Elba uh, in a, in a, a Jeep bear. Wrangler. <laughs> but it's definitely got to be a white a polar bear, bear with an English accent, yeah. a black bear with an English accent because it's sexier. Here comes out. You're supposed to like this. To make it so like <laughs> bigger, bigger. Do it again. And, and yeah. and if it's a black and bear, bear if it's a black bear, if it's a grizzly, there you go again with the fucking black there bear. Go. Listen, if it's a black bear, you got to be aggressive because you can't talk to those black bears. Yeah, the the you, grizzly bear. Shoot, you, you can't gotta, deal with yeah, yeah. the white polar bears. You know, those are sensible they bears, are, but those yeah, they those they drink tea and shit. Yeah. So. Those black anyway. bears, you know, you got to look out for those black bears. They're out there with their their uh, boom boxes and whatnot. Their eight ball jackets. <laughs> they were break dancing and selling Lucy's. This so, is why. Uh, this is why we don't it's listen to women. It's exhausting. I'm exhausted watching the stupid. And I get it. It's supposed to be a stupid, playful argument, but it's not. That's the it's whole not, point. Because women are actually saying that. I mean, there's a there's a couple of podcasts that talk that that took this on, and and every woman goes, "A man, a bear, of course, a bear." I'm a, I'm a survivalist. I camp and a bear. No, not a bear. Not not a bear. Just insane. The the the, the idea of this is, is just it's conceptually there's no logic Rather or anything. Be 
Uh, and listen, everybody, if you want to know how to get through this type of stupidity in your own relationship, because I'm sure a lot of us are dealing with it, you need the advice, it ain't easy, you could always get a consultation from myself or Dante. If you want a consultation from me, email me at advicefromharry at gmail.com. Dante, if they want a consultation from you, what should they do? Go oh, DanteNero.com, click on consult, you can get me direct. When you're with a woman and she says this nonsense, what do we do, Dante? I, here's the thing. I, I think you cannot respond to stupidity. I think the best thing to do is to be quiet. When somebody, if somebody says, well, what would you, or the, what do you think about that? And we go, I don't think anything about it. This might be the dumbest question, dumbest conversation I've ever had before. And I, I refuse to have this conversation. I, she had, one time I had a girlfriend say to me, um, uh, she was supposed to be doing something for me, right? She volunteered to do something for me, and then she kind of dropped the ball and didn't do it, right? right? And I didn't say anything. I just said, uh, um, I asked for, I, I just, I, you know, I just started doing it on my own. And then she was like, well, I, I'll do it. I'll do it. Why didn't you, why didn't you tell me? I go, well, I asked you to do it this task and you didn't do it. Right. So I have to assume that you didn't want to do it, that whatever it was, either I wasn't important enough, right. Or you didn't want to do it. That's where we have to get as men. We have to get to the point where we, we stop trying to interpret the action and just take the action for what it is. So then she was like, well, I'll do it. And I go, well, you didn't, you didn't do it though. So I'm doing it. She goes, well, well, why didn't you yell at me? And I go, why would I yell at you to upset you so that you could cry? And then now I got to make you that. feel better yeah. because I made you cry. Why? It's so much easier for me to just recognize that I, you don't respect me enough or you don't have enough accountability to do what I asked you to do because I asked you. And that's not enough. So I'm not going to yell at you. Well, you could, you could remind me. No, I'm not reminding you. I said, you got, you got cats, right? You don't forget to feed the cats, right? And they go, well, yeah, but when the cat's hungry, it comes and nudges me and crawls all over me. Yeah, well, I'm not going to do that. I'm not a cat. I'm not a cat. <laughs> you, I'm a grown man. And, and that in itself is the crux of where we need to be. Closures for bitches. If you're in a relationship with somebody is, if you told somebody what you asked, you've asked them, to do certain things because it makes it makes you happy and they're not doing it. It's because they don't want to do it. That's it. Now they might not want to do it because they don't think you're important enough. They might not do it because they don't want to do it. Uh, they, it's just something that they're uncomfortable for anal. And, uh, but, but the, the bottom line is you are not important enough to make that sacrifice. Listen, who would you have rather have uh, anal with a man or a bear? That's the uh, important question. Man, there you go. I'm gonna go with a lady bear with a, a nice bear. little mini skirt on, a pink lady bear with a pink skirt on and a hat with flowers. So I'm, you know, I'm like going Yogi with Bear that. rules with the female bear show. The up. one, yeah, the female bear that like <laughs> the one that he was stealing picnic baskets. Even Yogi was stealing. He was stealing for his. Well, he was a brown bear. He was. <laughs> According to that lady, he was, you know, you gotta, you gotta look out for them black bears. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> wink, wink, nudge, nudge. We got some black bears around here. We got some black bear sightings. We got some black bear sightings near Central Park. They you didn't steal any out. of the food. The radios and the cameras are gone. Got some bears stealing CD players from cars, <laughs> stereos. <laughs> Uh, so ridiculous. It's like I, this girl actually was like, Yeah, you can yell at me. I'm gonna I gotta yell at you so that you don't so and then I gotta fix me yelling at you afterwards. I'm good. I'm not going, I'll just do it myself. Well, I'll do it. All right, well then do it. But the minute you're not doing it, I'm just gonna I'll just do it myself. The worst thing in the world, the thing that motivates it's if a if a woman likes you and you show her that you don't need her, I can do it without you. Right? You know how women go? We, oh, sure, I, we yeah. don't need men except for the gay man who can got up. It, the minute you start to, we have to, I, I've said this so many times in so many consultations. You're asking your wife to do certain things. 
she, she stop yelling at you. Stop calling your name. Stop, you know, whatever. And she's not doing it. It's because she doesn't want to. She doesn't think that you're important enough to, to make an adjustment. Why are you in a relationship like that with somebody who doesn't want to make you happy? I guarantee you're doing stuff to make her happy or stuff to get her to the point where she shuts her yap. You better, because if not, she will leave you. Because guess what? What's her name? Anna, whatever. Navar Is it Anna Navarro? Was that her yeah, name? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Guess what? When she's done with her husband, she will be done because she thinks, oh, okay. he's useless, but she still needs him for something. We don't know what. Yeah. So there's something there. But the second that you do not serve any purpose to her, you're done. she will leave you. And if she can do everything that you can do, you're also done. There's no equality. A woman only dates a guy who's better than her. I've said this a hundred times. Better is a relative term, but understand that you're better than her. She feels that you're better. There's an asset of something that you provide in her life that she cannot do herself. Otherwise, she won't because she's not going to deal with somebody who, who's her, her, uh, uh, her emotional or intellectual or financial equal. She's not going to do that. You got to be better. And if you're not her financial equal, you are her. You are superior her, to her in other ways. Mindset could be even like I've talked about this. Like I dated a, a chick who was, you know, she was a detective in the in the NYPD. Uh, she had some ranks. So she was making money. Had the BMW. I was I was giving her basement futon dick. And uh, mm. but the thing nice. was, no matter how much money she had, she worried about everything, and I didn't worry about anything. I was like, it'll all work out. I'll figure it out. And so what she loved about me was the fact that I just had an idea. I felt like it was all going to work out. That is what it is. Mm -hmm. it is, what it is. By the Insane. way, uh, Anna Navarro did not get married until 2019, which means yeah. in, well into her <laughs> late 40s. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and also she's a Latino Republican, which are the, as a Latino, I'll tell you right now, the dumbest and the craziest of all the Latinos are the ones who fucking go Republican. Yeah. You know what kind of mental illness you have to be? And I don't give a shit that it's like, you know, 1998 or whatever the fuck. Yeah. 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 How do you even, how do you even square that circle when you, when you have people, Latinos who are coming as immigrants here to start a life and you are, you are siding. It's like black Republicans. You're a black Republican. It's, get off the plane. Uh, let's not even get into that. Anyway, uh, it's just just absurd. She's lucky she found a husband. Mm -hmm. She's no spring chicken. Nobody buys a Cor Toyota Corolla with three hundred thousand miles on it, unless you're dumb. Of course, he he. She thinks he's uh, he's worthless and she doesn't need him. I'm not an alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man. Better man. Well, put your happiness first, because if you don't, they won't.